Hello everybody, this is Nathan with Rocky Mountain Twist and Montana Brand Tools. Today we're going to be doing some life testing on diamond drills. So what we have set up over here is a drill press set at 1280 RPM and it's got a weighted spindle and pulley setup so that it'll have uh, 8 pounds pulling down. That's 42 pounds at the spindle. Those two numbers were chosen because they do a pretty good job of mimicking what you would see in the field if you were using a cordless tool for this. Obviously, we're running an AC motor today on the drill press here in the studio, but uh, we would expect you to be using a cordless tool because it uh, really mitigates any risk factors with water and electricity. That being said, uh, what we've got are three 12 by 12 standard floor tile. We've got samples from Milwaukee, from Lennox, as well as Montana brand. We'll be opening all those up and going through a full life test, hole after hole after hole, to see how they perform compared to one another. That being said, we'll get things set up and go from there. Okay, the first drill we're gonna be testing is uh, one from Milwaukee. We have the wood blocks set up below this, just to act as a, uh, a backstop, so that when these run through the tile, they don't do any damage to the diamond. Just a general flood cooling. We will time the first hole and failure will be considered uh, any hole that takes 10 times that long. So the diamonds will tend to degrade, the, the holes will get slower, and at some point the average customer will probably say, you know what, that's enough. And so we're gonna base it off 10 times slower than whatever our initial hole was. Yeah, that was the 10th hole completed with that drill at uh, 2 minutes and 35 seconds by the rules of the test going to constitute failure. Next we'll check lengths. Once again we'll time the first hole and failure will be uh, anything 10 times that. change out and set up with uh, one of the Montana brand tools. Compared to the competition, the Montana brand tools uh, performed exceptionally well. Unlike drills that are made in other countries, this was designed, made, and built in the USA, manufactured from start to completion. The diamonds themselves are a high grade diamond, higher grade than these others, so they don't wear as flat as quickly. When they fracture, they leave sharp edges exposed, and that's why you see that even when we had a test showing down to say 17 or 20 seconds, once a few edges fracture and expose again, we're back to cutting at 14 seconds. So yes, our tools will wear out eventually, but they stay sharp during a much flatter duration uh, time-wise through that life. The other thing is, one of the important things with diamonds is they only work if they are stuck there. So the diamond 
that we attach here is attached via a proprietary vacuum brazing process that we do in-house. The braze and the alloy we chose is specific to both adhering to diamonds and withstanding exceptionally high temperatures, meaning that once you take certain diamond-coated product up to an elevated temperature, which you can reach very quickly due to the friction on these plates, the glue that is bonding and holding all those diamonds in place just sloughs off. Ours has such an elevated melting temperature that it doesn't give up. It holds those diamonds, allows them to stay in place, fracture, expose new edges, and keep doing the job they're supposed to. Hole number 80, by the way, at 14 seconds. Okay, folks, number 100. So for those of you still watching, we we're gonna call this test, even though we didn't hit 10 times time we hit uh, 10 times the number of holes of the competitor uh, I think at this point due to the uh, insanity of that performance differential you'd have to ask yourself why you would choose anything else other than Montana brand